Hey, what's up everybody? It's Koopa. Welcome to episode number 7 in the Risen playthrough. So, we're going to be doing some interesting stuff here today. We're going to do the arena, and I'm going to get the rest of the fragments. So, let's go ahead and do that. So, we didn't get the fragment from, I think his name is Lewis, one of the hunters out there. So, we need to get some beer. So we found a lot of beer already, but let's go ahead and go pick up the rest. So I'll show you where a good source of beer is. And I think when we went earlier and did this quest, we didn't get all the dialogue because we didn't have enough beer in our inventory. So I'm actually going to do a quick save here and grab this beer. I think you can get caught doing this and it's not good. So make sure nobody's watching, yeah. And there's another beer. So we just picked up three beers. And uh, earlier in the playthrough, we picked up quite a few more, actually. But this should be enough now to get us through the rest of the starting area. So this hunter guy over here has a fragment, so we just got to give him enough beer, and then he'll, he'll hand it on over to us. Here he is, Lewis. Here, one beer for some information. Hey, 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 you got one. Huh. You're beautiful. So right here, I'm looking for some pieces of sword blade old, uh, decorated with gold. So when I went here earlier, he didn't give me this option. And I think it's because I didn't have the quest yet. So we got the quest in the last episode from Oscar, the blacksmith guy. So that, I'm thinking that's why that, that happened. But. So it, it might be a little conf Some of these dialogues are a little confusing on how to actually get what you want done. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and finish this up. I'm looking for some pieces of a sword blade. Oh, decorated with gold. They're everywhere. Everyone's got one. Well, not Hawkins. Or Jan. Or Rachel. Or Craig has one. I've seen it. It's quite big. And that moron has one as well. What moron? Dorgan. He's got a piece, moron. Of course, Brogar has one. You'd have to take him apart to get it. <laughs> and me. I've got one too. You have one. So, let's see. I'll give you a beer for it. I'll give you a beer for the piece of sword blade. No way! What, what do you think I am, an idiot? It's easily worth two. So we went and got those beers so we can give him two beers. Here, two beers. Beer! Beer! Ha <laughs> ha! Here you go. And there we go, we got the fragment. How do you think I can get Brogar to fight me in the arena? Uh, you can't be serious. Ha! He'll turn you into mincemeat and then dance on all the little pieces. <laughs> Just tell me what I need to know. The only thing that'll make a man like that come out of his shell, little shell, like a snail. <laughs> I like a snail's old silver trails in the moonshine. Lies. Mm. Proceed. What will make him come out of his shell? Who? Oh! Yeah. Fear, isn't it? You know, fear of losing control. He wants control of the camp. If someone comes and takes control, that'll piss him off. He'll want to show he's boss. Grind them into the dirt all the way in. Head first. Pull their head off and, you know, down their neck. You try this, or, or beat his fighters in the arena. That'll scare him too. Get him out of his shell. Right. Thanks. Okay. So we got a fragment and he told us how to get... Well, how to get a fight with Brogar. 
So that being said, let's go ahead and get started in the arena. So let's talk to Craig, who's this fellow right here. Hey, lost are you? Don't you worry about it. I'll take care of you. Who are you? Craig. And if you want a fortune in gold, I'm your man. Your job is to distribute wealth. Exactly. I arrange little wages. You give me your gold, and you could double it. What odds do you offer? Ah, uh, you're interested. Uh, listen up. I'll explain. You give me a sum in gold. If you win, I'll pay you back double. And if I lose? There are no losers. Only future repeat gamblers. I'll just keep your gold warm until you want to try and win it back. And can I be sure you'll pay out if I win? Oh, you of little faith. I'm hurt. If I wasn't honest, do you think I'd last two minutes around here? How do I place a bet? Oh, nothing easier. We bet on anything. Who'll be the next worker to get eaten by a swamp creature? The next winner in the arena? Anything! You can even bet on yourself. If you want to go into the arena. People fight for gold. Don't sound so surprised. People have fought for gold since time began. There's a small arena over in the west. That's where it happens. I bet you're worth a gamble. Tough looking fella like you. Is there somewhere around here I can train for combat? I wouldn't normally do this, but I'll train you if you like. Always good to get the inside skinny, in case you go into the arena. Tell me more about the arena. It's all friendly, just a few bruises and broken limbs. It isn't to the death, it's where we train and test ourselves. Well, if you fancy a fight, just challenge one of our fighters. If he accepts, he'll go into the arena with you. The fight starts when both willing volunteers are in the arena with their weapons drawn. The first fighter to go down loses. That's clear enough. I want to improve my fighting skills. Alright, I can finally get some strength and level my swords. I want to be stronger. At least something is sinking in. I want to be stronger. You're learning. Teach me sword fighting. Right. I'm going to tell you how to counter parry. If you're taking flurries of blows, you need to knock your opponent's weapon aside. Do this. He's unprotected, so you must attack. It's not easy to do. You need a feel for the right moment to parry and attack. Practice it, and it will help you. But remember, it only works if you're being attacked. And if your opponent tries to parry, you won't get a chance to do it. Okay, so we got a few upgrades there. So I'm not going to ask him about his sword blade, because uh, I can actually just take it off his body when I beat him up in the arena. I've decided to fight in the arena. That's what I wanted to hear. Well done. Do yourself proud. Remember, once see the man hits the ground, the fight's over. Carrying on when your opponent's on the dirt. That's not fair play, is it? You'll pay dearly if you break that rule. Right. Which of the fighters here are the best? Based on recent form, Ricardo's a loser. Lorenzo isn't too sharp either. Used to be alright. Faded a bit these days. I'd say Domingo is probably the best in case. Does Brogar ever fight in the arena? You looking to lose bits of yourself? Just ask him will be risking your skin. Forget it. That's my advice. Why? He's not one to mess with. Arena fighting's a game. Brogar doesn't play games. Neither do I. I want to make a bet. Fabulous. What do you want to gamble on? 
I'll fight Ricardo and win. Ah, well that's not too hard a prospect. Lousy odds, so your winnings won't be great. Alright, let's go uh, pick a fight with Ricardo. I challenge you to a fight in the arena. You think because I'm a guard, I'm soft. Your mistake. Alright, here we go. All right, then, you bastard. I was trying to do the parry thing. Uh, as he attacked, but it didn't seem to really work. I don't, I don't think there's a consequence for taking all this stuff. <laughs> Hopefully not. Ricardo's made of rice paper and spit. You'll find tougher. Here, your winnings. I want to make a bet. I'll fight Lorenzo in the arena. That'll be worth watching. Okay, Lorenzo. I think we're gonna have to have a beer to challenge him. I'm not sure if I have one. That's Domingo. I think this is him right here. I challenge you to fight in the arena. No chance. Find someone else. Alright, we beat this guy up earlier, so he's not interested. Lorenzo won't fight me. He knows I beat him before, and I'll do it again. You could always try again. All it costs is a little pride and a little gold. Here. Your money back. I want to make a bet. I'm ready to face Domingo in the arena. Now there's a fight should bring in some wages. Good luck. Alright. This is the guy that wants the beer. Let's see. Might have to go buy one. About Broga. Rogar's fighters are staging fights in the arena. Would the Don approve of that? You'd have to ask Rachel. But it might be something. Oops, you can I'm talking the same. That's an under. Well, whatever. Man, I'm with the. Okay, I don't want to talk to Sam. I want to talk to. Oh, this is him. <laughs> Silly me. Let's try a few rounds in the arena. Are you that keen to get a kick in? Not interested. You're not worth my time. You chicken, Domingo. You a big, fat, feathery piece of poultry. I see your mouth moving, but all I hear is blah, blah, blah. You're the best fighter here. Come on. See these muscles? There's money in them. Fine. You give up too easily. And you wonder why I don't want to fight you. Let's try a few rounds in the arena. Are you that keen to get a kick in? Okay, I'll pay you. Ten gold. Sure, you can give me gold if you want. But my throat is as dry as sandpaper. I ain't budding an inch until I get a beer. That looks like I don't have a beer. So, let's see, there's many ways to get a beer. Uh, the first one I'm going to try is just to run in and grab this. <laughs> I got it before they saw me. Okay, we got a beer. Let's try a few rounds in the arena. Are you that keen to get a kick in? Here. Yeah. Have a swig of this. Ah, that's the good stuff right there. So, how about the arena? Go on then. A beer. Someone to punch. Life doesn't get much better. 
You're clearly a man of simple tastes. Okay. This fight will be a little harder, I think, than the previous ones. Time for a little lesson. Yeah! his stuff. Haha, <laughs> I got your stuff. Got my beer back too. <laughs> okay, I should probably sleep in a bed. The tooltips tell me that if I parry right as they attack, it'll do some sort of counter attack parry thing and I just don't understand. Because a lot of my parries I do like right away, like right when they attack and it just doesn't seem to really do much. Alright, back to the full health. Domingo will have learned to respect you. Your win took him by surprise. And me. Here, your winnings. I don't like paying out. But you did what you bet you'd do. You'd be a good opponent. Why don't you fight me in the arena? Ah, I should have seen that coming. Think about it. This is my domain. I even bet on myself. I'm ready to fight you now. Hold your horses, stallion. I'll fight you if you put some gold where your mouth is. Make it worth me while. I don't do anything for nothing. I want to make a bet. I'm ready to face you in the arena. There's gold on the table. How can I refuse? Let me know when you want this to start. I want to fight you. Right now. Well, that sounds serious. Meet me in the arena. The arena is the only place we'll fight. Got that? And if you leave the arena during the fight, you lose. May the worthiest fighter win. Okay. So it was 50 gold uh, to fight him. So if I win, I'll get 100 gold, aka just 50 more. So I think it's better than not buy the weapon and just loot it off his body. Because uh, when I loot it off his body, he's not going to pay me my Now you die! Ah! So basically, I lose 50 gold. Yeah! That moves around a lot more than the other guys. Jeez, he's got doing some weird moves. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So I can take the fragment here and his uh, his bow. Silly has. 
Okay, so he's not gonna pay me because I took his fragment. Nobody will face me in the arena. That's one of the biggest compliments they can pay you. Yes, but I haven't faced Brogar. Ah, that's a different world altogether. Brogar won't fight just for the hell of it. His position in camp is built on his brawn and his ruthlessness. He can't afford for anyone to beat him in combat. It would weaken his power, so he's wary, as you should be. I know what I'm doing. You'd better. You think it'll be one-sided? Let's find out. You bastard. That gear is mine. I'll consider that your winnings, you bastard. See, so he won't pay me, so basically I lost 50 gold, but if I would have bought uh, the, the piece of sword, it would it would have been 100 gold, so in the end I get 50 more gold. I want to make a bet. I think I can beat Brogar in the arena. I think he'd turn you into paste. But first, you'd have to get him to fight you. That's hard enough. I'll find a way. Awesome. Okay, so let's get some rest, get my health back, and then... Brogar is actually a pretty tough fight. Lorenzo, creepy guy always looking at me while I'm sleeping. Alrighty. Brogar, I challenge you to fight me in the arena. You ain't worth the walk. I fought and defeated all your fighters. Will you face me now, or are you a coward? Show a little respect, little fish. I'll fight you. Maybe that way I can teach you some respect. Nice. Hope you're ready for this. He hits hard. Wait, what? I countered. take his fragment here so now we have uh, I believe we have all the fragments now not bad I'm impressed stay in my good books and I can make something of a scrapper like you I think I can make something of myself you get too cocky with people it'll be a grave you're making for yourself hey I took the liberty of lifting that piece of the sword blade from you. You thieving bastard. Rob a man when he's down, would you? You'd have done the same to me, Brogar. I've got nothing to say to you. <laughs> All right. We got all the sword pieces, and then there's one more quest that we never uh, fully turned in. We gotta go talk to this guy named Beppo. So let's do this real quick. 
So this fellow right here. Hey, hey, what? You bet be from Hawkins. I need those crates moving. So th this is kind of sloppy in my opinion how this is organized like we've already done all these quests um, without even talking to this guy so apparently you know if I talk to him I'm gonna be able to turn it in and get rewarded so let's go ahead and do that I've just arrived here I'm not from anyone lazy more like but you've never done a decent day's work in your life what crates the ones full of artifacts what else are we moving Damn Hawkins. His workers should have delivered them by now. I knew it was too much responsibility for the old coot. So you're in charge of moving boxes, right? They're not just any old boxes. They're full of artifacts from the excavation sites. They get dug up, they come to me, and then they go to the Don. Oh, so you're not even moving boxes for yourself then? When you get an important role here, then you can make jokes. Until then, shut your bleeding mouth. Look how short that guy is. <laughs> What's in these artifact crates? Puppies. Artifacts, what do you think, genius? Everything that's dug up from the ruins gets crated up. But keep your mitts off them. If you're looking for gold, then do some work. You dig for the Don, then you'll get your share. I'll think about it. Let's talk sensibly. I can help you get your crates. <laughs> think you can. All right, we'll get going and get them moving. No sense in asking if you know the magic word. What magic word? Here, you're not with that Inquisition lot, are you? Look, I'll have no magical nonsense around here. I sorted out your crate delivery problem. Really? Well, thanks. Good to see someone's applying themselves. Tell you the truth, I ain't sure why the Don wants all this gold. Ain't like there's much to spend it on in a swamp. Not that I've seen. Anyway, you've put me in a generous mood. Here's a little advance on your share. And we get the 20 gold. So it's actually kind of interesting, uh, the story so far. Got the Don locked himself in this area here, full of gold. For who knows why he wants it. Got these temples apparently rising up from under the ground. I'm very interested in what's going to happen next. So we can turn in uh, the sword things. But uh, we're going to do that in the next episode. Uh, by talking to Oscar here so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and uh, we got a lot to do still so make sure you guys stay tuned for the next episode and as always like comment subscribe and uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode